Awoki from Hajime no Eppo. That's a character that, like, that both complex, straightforward, funny. You can use any other adjectives that you want. It'll probably apply to Awoki. That's how good Awoki is as a character. Yo, welcome back to the Ones with Expensive Taste. It's me, your host Ippo, and I'm here with a short character analysis video. Awoki, or some would say Awoki Mora. Like, we're gonna focus on the Awoki aspect of this one, not the Awoki Mora dynamics. From Hajime no Ippo, uh, for those of you that still haven't gotten the message that I've been trying to preach on this channel, you gotta watch Ippo. Ippo is that good. Let's jump into it. Uh, I, f I think we gotta start with like the backstory of the character of Awoki, like, which cannot be established without looking at Kimura at the same time. Awoki in the beginning when they started, like he was a thug. When they showed us the backstory before he met Takamura, before he joined the Komagawa gym, he was with uh, Kimura and he was a thug. He was that guy that like people looked at and like, you know what, this guy's a bum. Like terrorizing the entire city, like he was that guy. And you saw like his thought, him and Kimura thinking like, basically we're the undefeated duel. Like nobody can touch us until they met the great one that is Takamura. And Takamura humbled these two souls. He brought them back down to earth. After that, he, he made it essentially their mission to just want to punch him. They didn't even want to beat him. They just wanted to punch him. They knew this guy was undefeated. Like he fought both of them, beat the shit out of them, humbled them. And they started coming to the gym in hopes that one day they might hit him. But the way Takamura did it was phenomenal. The way he said um, he did the, the road work time in, in 35 minutes when they did it, I think in 40 minutes. Just enough motivation for them to come back tomorrow again. Because in actuality, we later on found out that apparently Takamura did it under 30 minutes in his first run. So like he said that intentionally so that they can come back another day. They're not entirely demotivated like they have the motivation like we can eventually get up get to this guy's level and then they start sparring and by mistake Kimura like scraped um, Takamura's chin and that's where fully the love of boxing began for these two the thing about Awoki who is the focus of this video is Awoki before before meeting Takamura and after meeting Takamura or as we can say BT and AT is before beating Takamura, this dude was a bum. He did not have any direction in life. Um, they had this this motorcycle that they were not really good at riding, but like it was hilarious to watch. But then after meeting Takamura, now he knew discipline. He knew like he needed to work on something, learn something, like put focus himself to make him something out of himself, essentially, right? And we later on see back to now the current timeline. We see Awoki like as an amazingly accomplished sushi chef or like a ramen chef he's really good at it and people love coming to his restaurant and seeing him eat and seeing him cook but i don't think there will be that awoki without boxing awoki like if he never got into boxing because of takamura i don't think awoki would have been the character we know him to be now because he would have lacked the discipline and he would have floundered around and probably ended up being like a thug thug or like just a bum on the street right i think that was the destiny that that was the destiny that fate had for awoki before he met takamura and before he had cultured himself on discipline then later on we also see him like he was initially he was dating this girl in his romantic life he was dating this girl from high school which was like the high school girl and everybody was fawning over her and he found out that she's been cheating on him and that broke the man's and then he's like, you know what? I'm done with these chicks. Then he met up with, uh, I can't remember her name. The one that Takamura and Kimura ever so, ever so subtly always say, he has a weird fetish. That's her face. Not to be that person, but yeah, that was her. And he met her. And I think he's the only one in the group that has like an actual relationship that is blossoming and is going anywhere. Takamura does not have anything apart from boxing. Kimura does not also have anything apart from boxing, although he he's he's slowly but surely getting more involved with his family business of like the of flowering and flowery business, right? Ippo has is helping his mom with like the fishing business, but Ippo does not really have a romantic life. But uh, Awoki, he has his boxing career, he has his romantic life and he has also his job that he's excelling at 
I would say with the exception of boxing, he is excelling all of them like amazingly. Boxing also, now we come back to the main thing about boxing. Awoki has the most unconventional boxing style out of everyone in the Kamogawa gym. Like, bar none. You can put all of them together into one character. Awoki still has the most unconventional style. Like, nobody is thinking about no-look punch, frog punch. Like, nobody's doing it like Awoki. His fight with Imai in the last anime season was beautifully written like it was a work of com comedic art it was a work of even like martial arts like you look at it and you're like you know what this is actually amazing he did a great job and like from the core four like Ippo Takamura, Kimura and Aoki he was the last to get his first title match and so it meant a lot to him and we saw it come through in the fight because like Kimura fought Mashiba and like it was a beautiful fight it was a good fight, like, Kimura gave it his all. He fought, like, how Kimura would not usually fight, because Kimura does not take damage, but, like, in that fight, he went all out. And so was Awoki. Awoki, Awoki is the funniest guy. Pr funniest guy, probably, I don't know if you would say Takamura, but, like, it's either him or Takamura, the funniest guy in Hajime no Ippo. And these are the guys that make, like, Ippo what it is, like, the comedic masterpiece that it is. There's so much to talk about about each character and like the show as whole, right? And like how uh, George Morikawa like makes each character come to life that you feel this could be a person that I could meet. This could be a person that I could see as part of my friend group. That's how amazingly developed the characters are and fleshed out. Like the jokes they make, although Awoki is most of the time the butt of the jokes, um, later on, we also, small manga spoiler, we find out that Awoki has siblings and Awoki is the oldest one and he's been helping his family out. So we find this out and we find out more about Awoki's backstory before he started boxing, before before Thug and Thug Kimura's Thug Awoki arc. Like all these things, we find out more about him and he gets fleshed out as a character. And the more you see, the more you love each character. Like that's the thing about George Murray Kawa that like mind boggles me. In terms of character development, probably Ippo. I think Ippo was probably top tier for me, but we're not here for this conversation. Anyway, it's been a short video. It's been the bums of expensive taste. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know your favorite Ajimeno Ippo character. For me, it's Ippo. It gotta be Ippo. Secondly, it has to be Takamura, then Awoki, then Kimura. But Manabu, nah, Manabu's not in the top four. Anyway, let me know yours. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bump.